So I'm going to do today's reading. I'm doing it a day early. Uh, I normally have been wanting to do my weekly tarot readings, um, you know, especially for a collective, you know, on Sunday. However, because the solar eclipse hits tomorrow, I want to make sure people are able to see and what's going on and what they can kind of prepare for. So this is more of a collective read, but, you know, kind of to deal with things going on in the world and so forth and how we are impacted by them and what we can do. Now, what are the cards? Um, this is an Oracle card, which asks questions to get you to think. So I drew one for everybody. And the card is, what am I afraid of losing? So this is a big thing as we're um, dealing with uh, the pandemic right now. And one of the things people, many are afraid of losing jobs. Some people are afraid of getting sick and losing their lives. So there's a lot of people, what am I afraid of losing? So especially when we're taking certain actions right now, um, we want to be very conscientious before we make a move. Yes, we need to be careful. We can't not be thinking necessarily and just kind of rushing in and doing what we want to do here. We got to kind of really make our actions count during this time. Now, one of the things we're going to be dealing with, and a lot of you are experiencing, I've got the hangman in the reverse position. This is my very first card. So one of the things is he is about the, everything is suspended. As most of you tarot readers know, if you see this, you know, he's kind of stuck and going nowhere, you know, but he's also receiving enlightenment. So he's becoming wise to the situation is one of the things he is, even in this time where he is kind of stuck in his position, you know, he kind of lets go, he relaxes. And he accepts and this is this is my circumstances. And it's in this moment of surrender. He he receives this enlightenment. But now we've kind of done that. You know, we expected, okay, you know, I'm enlightened. These are my circumstances. There's not a whole lot I can do. So and it doesn't necessarily even have to be the pandemic. If you're watching this, some kind of situation where you felt everything, you have just been stuck, and then you finally just I, all I can do is surrender to the situation. But now we're going to get unstuck. We're about to get released from the suspension is one of the things that's happening. One of the things in the world, though, however, is people are going back to work and so forth. You know, so um, things are not going to go back to normal. I think we're all hip to that. We, we know things are not going to be exactly the same. There are still restrictions. But one of the good things is the nine of swords in a reverse position we're probably going to have some upheaval with the solar eclipse and so forth. We've also got Mercury retrograde, but I do feel a lot of people are getting to the point where they went through the initial shock of the change and became very depressed and, and very confused. You remember when everything was chaotic and everybody was buying toilet paper and taking all the cleaning supplies and it was very frustrating. But now we're kind of adapting. So some of this depression is coming off and people are getting a little bit more grounded. So I do feel people will become a little bit more stable during this time. Now, one of the good things is self-isolation. I know self-isolation was a bummer, but families, many of them did come together, which is good. And you can see kind of the happy home life there with the 10 of cups. So people having to be in now, I know there's people who broke up during this time, you know, don't, don't message me going, okay, my relationship fell apart. He moved out. I moved out. I understand, but there was still a lot of families that came together and kind of set down their devices and turned off their TVs and played board games or went outside and kind of played with their kids and did things they normally never had the opportunity to do. That's the upside. And that's kind of what the Ten of Cups is saying, you know. So now that we have experienced this and some of us are going to be going back to work and so forth, what can we learn? What are the deep lessons we can learn from this time that we were in isolation and so forth? But one of the main things people do want to get back to work because Six of Pentacles are worse. You see how, you know, paying everybody that wants to get paid, it's been very difficult and, you know, admittedly, it's going to be an uphill battle for a, a lot of you, you know, that debt had accumulated and so forth. So getting back to work is going to be a big challenge. Now, it's going to be hard. Some of you do not have jobs to go back to. And you're, you've been applying and trying to set up something. Give it time. You know, give it time. We will all get through this together. Just keep applying and so forth. And as I say that, I just drew the eight of pentacles. So if anybody has been wondering, as it's a collective read, but as you're watching, this is your read too. Eight of pentacles is especially about employment to me, mastery of a craft. You will get a job. 
So I do not want you to worry that, oh my God, am I going to be out of work for a long time? This is in the immediate future position. So you will get back to work. So some of you are either going to go back to your old job or you're going to get a new one. But um, I have a feeling that I know unemployment is astronomical right now in this country, but I actually do have a feel that there is going to be a lot of jobs open as the economy opens. Um, is it going to be 40 million? You know, probably not. But I do feel it's going to be a very significant number that a lot of people can get back to work because they got to open these businesses and they need employees. So there is going to be, you know, some growth from that. There is going to be growth and people are going to get back to jobs. But I also notice um, even when talking to people that I have been reading for and so forth, there's a lot of people who have been brainstorming about starting their own businesses, which is which is uh, really cool that one of the it, it's almost as if spirit put them in this position, you know, for them to reevaluate their lives. So if you are probably in a position as well where you've had to kind of sit back and reevaluate your life, what do I really want to be doing? Well, you know, I'm out of work with that job and I never really liked it anyway. So I've always wanted to go into business doing X, Y, Z. And so some of you were in that position and this is the time, you know, like, you know, life is short. That's kind of how I see it. Life is short. Get out there and give it a shot and, and try to do that business and try to get that going. Um, but there is a, you know, and even the spiritualists, you know, uh, who've been wanting to be readers or healers or the various things they've been wanting to do. There was a lot of them that are getting out there and doing that. I actually see a card sticking out. I'm still going to do tarot, but, um, I notice. So I do draw the mirror card. What is triggering you is what it says. Mirror, what is triggering you? Um, that's a good one because a lot of people, I feel during this time, and we're about to deal with this solar eclipse, you know, um, is they are being triggered in various ways, you know, with everything that's been going on in the world. I know a lot of people have lost friends over various disagreements and so forth. People are being easily triggered during this time. They're taking things personally. So that's a big message from spirit, especially, especially to the spiritualist. Don't take anything personal. Even if somebody attacks you at this time, do not take it personal. It's about them. You are mirroring something to them and they are reacting to that, but you're just a mirror, you know? So just remember that. I mean, there are some times, you know, I get attacked for various things. I never take it personal because I'm like, there's something, you know, that is standing in the way and it's called the mirror and they're just reacting to that. I'm just mirroring back something to them. And a lot of what you see, you know, if you're reading certain things on social media or you're watching certain things on TV, you may get triggered. Kind of step back, step back. Where is my button? Where is my button? You know, I want you to really do that. During this time, probably solar eclipse day, a lot of people are going to be getting triggered. You know, so especially just during this time, when this happens, step back. What is going on here? You know, and other people need to do that as well. You know, why are they so easily triggered? Why are they attacking and so forth? So be very conscientious during this time. Um, one of the things I do have, and anytime I have same suits showing in a reversal or something, it's a very strong message. It's also for male and female is the king and queen of swords, both in a reverse position. So especially, um, you know, we got to kind of get mind above heart during this time. And we've got to get that mental stability there is definitely a call for it because, you know, this is going to be a solar eclipse in Cancer, okay? And we've got Mercury retrograde going on. So there's going to be a lot of emotional upheaval. Be prepared for some very heightened emotions. So we got to really get the head above heart, you know, during this time. Head above emotions during this time. I really think clearly when we're dealing with these waves. Imagine yourself on an ocean, and you're sitting on your surfboard. Here comes a big wave. That's what it is. You know, we're going to have a big wave. And it's not just things going in your, your basic, you know, circle of your world. But major world issues are, of course, going to be impacting. And um, they constantly are impacting us. But there's there's probably going to be, this is going to signal something. Because that's especially what um, the eclipses can do. And we're dealing with two this month. But it's a signal of something bigger. So be prepared for that. 
but really get that balance because I noticed these are in reverse position. So it's real hard, you know, to get that clarity during this time. There's a lot of haze being brought. And even with that, I feel we will get the clarity because I do have the moon in the reverse position. This is in the outcome. So a lot of things are going to come to light. You could say this fog is going to clear. So we're going to go through the emotional upheaval and everything of this solar eclipse. There's going to be a lot of things going on in the world that are going to impact. But I feel like certain deception, because the moon can be about being deceived, you know, certain deception and so forth, is we're going to get that clarity. We're going to see things a lot more clear. But we also want to get that, you know, that clarity. So watch the swords that are coming out with the masculine and the feminine. That means, you know, men and women both collectively need to work on being sharp during this time. You know, so that is going to be a challenge. Um, but I do have at the crown. I know nobody wants to see this. This is a tough read, but I've got the devil you know, and we are dealing with a lot of negativity and toxic behavior. Now, it's not even just the world, but I want you to look in your inner circle. There are going to be things that are coming to surface, you know, within people um, that you are dealing with where the toxicity is really bubbling up there. And you're really going to have to assess, you know, what people do I want to keep in my inner circle and what people should I say goodbye to? You know, sometimes we just got to let people go. You know, we just have to let them go. And um, I just drew the two ones in the reverse position. So, you know, it's really important to open to the possibilities, you know, that we can have people in our circle that are more our spirit tribe. You know, sometimes we got to look at, you know, we may even lose family during this time, you know, with this eclipse and the upheaval and so forth, because people are being easily triggered. So there may be some fights where people stop talking to you during this time. So especially when we're dealing with that, you know, it's like, okay, maybe those people were not good for me in my life. So maybe I should like, you know, open the door for my spirit tribe and maybe call on the spirit, bring my spirit tribe to me, you know, help me find them. And because those are the people that are going to be beneficial for you on the path that are going to lead you in the right direction. And so especially during this time, and I also do have the Queen of Cups in the reverse position. So um, I do feel after we get past the eclipse, we're going to start getting some clarity, but we really got to tone down the emotion. We want to get the psychic insight, um, less the emotions swaying them so much there is confusion. So this is going to be a time things are going to come in very clear, but it requires really being balanced and, like it says, not triggered during this time. But just remember that as we're going through, you know, people are fearing losing their jobs. People are fearing losing people in their lives or their relationships are really, the relationships are going to be put to test with this eclipse. I want you to be prepared for that, but especially focus on what am I afraid of losing and sometimes we've got to let go of that fear, really analyze. You know, sometimes I tell people in readings, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, so if something happens where you lose this or lose that, well, what's the worst that can happen if it does? Sometimes it does have to get worse before it gets better. Um, so be prepared for that as well. But to get that balance, just remember, try to get the head above all of the emotions and try not to be so triggered during this time.